Oscar, I need your opinion on this. Ah, that's better. Looks like that fire escape staircase serves every floor of the house. That is correct, Kate Walker. Perhaps you should find a way to use it. So what do you think, Oscar? I think I would have liked a body with longer front legs. I was talking about the window up there. Must be Dana's room, right? Oh, of course. There is a high probability that you are not wrong, Kate Walker. Looks like the staircase serves every floor, including Dana's. I conjecture that you are probably right, Kate Walker. Well, we can't get to the staircase from the first floor windows. The second floor windows will be of no use to reach the staircase. Indeed, Kate Walker. All the windows you could have used are obstructed. The ladder to the first floor is up. It's too high for me to pull down. Looks like there's a mechanism up there to lower the ladder. That drain pipe leads to a ledge that leads to the staircase. According to my calculations, the drain pipe will not hold you, Kate Walker. And even if you were lighter, the ledge is too narrow for you to stand on. Hey, are you trying to tell me something, Oscar? Yes, you are too heavy and too wide, Kate Walker, for the ledge. Gee, thanks, Oscar. So basically, it's not going to be easy to use the staircase to get to Dana's room. There is no other way. Access is denied from inside the first and second floors. And the third floor stairwell is bricked up. The fire escape staircase is the only possibility, Kate Walker. But you cannot climb up the drain pipe because of your weight and size. I heard you the first time, thanks. You are welcome, Kate Walker. So, the only way up is by the fire escape staircase and that means lowering the ladder from the first floor. Well, in that case, there's only one solution. As you're so light and slim, Oscar, you'll have to climb up the drain pipe and walk across the ledge for me. Then you just need to activate the mechanism to lower the steps so that heavy me can take the staircase route. I was not made to climb up drain pipes, Kate Walker. I am a precision-made automaton. Come on, Oscar. You saved the day more than once at Baranor. It must be second nature by now. But how can I lower myself to scurrying like a... a rat? Because you're a fine fellow and my faithful friend? <sighs> Here. 
Stay calm, Oscar. I'm coming. <gasps> Climbing like a common squirrel. This is a disgrace. Everything okay up there? Yes, Kate Walker. I just need to... Ah! Hang on tight, Oscar! Oh, I am Kate Walker. Believe me, I am. You gotta jump now, Oscar. Hurry! Well done, Oscar. Glad that you're safe and sound. I guess that's one way of putting it, Kate Walker. I'm also glad you haven't lost your positive attitude. <laughs> Useless body. Now I must find another way. I'm climbing up all over again. Be careful there, Oscar. I'm going to need help here. Kate Walker, I... I'm going to need you again. How am I supposed to get rid of that pigeon? I can't throw it at the pigeon, but maybe I can use it some other way. Made our point, I guess. Now, maybe this body will be useful in the end. Locked, of course. Kate Walker, if I were meant to be used as a cannonball, I would have been given a fuse. This is highly irregular. Tuck your head in, Oscar. One... If Hans Borrelberg could see me now, Two, how... three. Undignified! Oh my, oh my. Really? Is this any way to treat an intelligent automaton? Really, if Mr. Vorlberg could see me now... He would say, you've saved the day again, Oscar. You've exceeded all expectations by far.
Okay, let's try and find out what became a parts missing. It's from the Music Academy. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Nope, won't work. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected, but I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. Nope, won't work. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected. But I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. It's blocking it. Things stuck. It's blocking it. This was written not long after her time at the refuge. A letter from Leon. So he did write back to Dana after the expedition left Kantar, the capital of Valtayar. The High Plateau of Valtayar, October 25th, 1937. My, My darling, darling Edelweiss. Edelweiss. I hate myself for not sending you news more often, and for not being able to receive news of you. I find myself now, where probably no other modern-day human has ever ventured before. I regret to inform you that I won't be able to go back to Europe with my fellow survivors. Something bad happened during the expedition. I, no doubt, am partly to blame. 
Nevertheless, I would like you to know my version of the events. After hard days of hiking, we set up our base camp on the threshold of a high valley where rhododendrons grew. All the witnesses seemed to concur. This was where the Gorun, the famous man of the mountains, was most frequently sighted. For many long weeks, we explored without success every valley and mountain surrounding the camp. Autumn was approaching, the rivers started to freeze at the edges, and the prospect of having to head back with nothing for our toil was becoming more and more apparent. The joyful banter of the first weeks was no more. The men were becoming moody and tense, especially our chief, Reinhard Berger. Up we get, Leon. Another day on a wild goose chase. I'd better get kitted up before going out. must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. Better get going before. You know what time it is. Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Cobatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. The day's only just bloody breaking. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. All right, all right. I'm not your enemy, you know. I... I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation, Leon. If we don't find a specimen of the Goron, the brown shadow will... Look, just go find Sauer, please. Now!
poor animal. Berg has gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. Hmm, no one here. Bauer and Jaeger must have... Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it. Oh, you little... All ship shape. Typical bower. Better get going. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive.
Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear over there. Better check it out. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That sour all over. Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably sour. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? I'd better have a look around to find out what happened here. What on earth is that? That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. God's... Sour? What in the world? Shh! Look what I found! Is that a... A guru? Yes! It's a guru! I heard him cry as I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. You go, he looks injured. I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. Easy, Leon. Now's not the time to get a dunking.
Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to look at your wound. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. Good boy. Eat up, fella. Good, isn't it? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella. If you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fellow. I'll be right back. <laughs> 